Something big is coming, says George Knapp and Jeremy Corbell. Something huge involving UFO disclosure, and it's going to happen in January. This is Major. Come on in. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like, please subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell to be no notified of future videos. Please comment below as I'm going through this story, and please share this video when it drops on social media. Also, please consider becoming a channel member to support the channel. See the first line in the description below. Channel members re receive exclusive access in videos, or you can simply leave a tip in the tip jar with the super thanks feature below. Or heck, I'm a novelist. You can buy one of my books. There's a couple of them back there. I love George Knapp and Jeremy Corbell. They are responsible for releasing some wonderful information. George Knapp especially has really... Um, kind of stimulated this whole era of UFO disclosure. If not for his coverage of uh, Skinwalker Ranch and, uh, you know, Bob Lazar, of course, uh, but uh, most notably Skinwalker Ranch, which directly led to the creation of um, the uh, OSAP and later ATIP and this current age of disclosure that we're living in. Well, anyway, you all know who George Knapp is, I'm sure, and Jeremy Corbell. So what is it? that they say is coming in January. Well, it involves reverse engineering uh, UFOs and the government's, uh, you know, uh, projects involving that. They were recently on an episode of uh, Kurt Jamongles. I'm, I'm probably mispronouncing that name, but Theories of Everything he has a, a great show. And they gave an interview teasing some big stuff in January. I'm going to play that segment it's kind of a long segment. It's like five minutes long, but I'm going to let it play in its entirety because there, there's some really juicy uh, content in it. Okay, here it goes. I, I'm looking forward to George and I have some stuff coming out. Uh, a lot of stuff we've covered that we're going to be able to reveal a lot more information on direct witness testimony. Just you're going to hear from people that, that you wouldn't expect you'd be able to hear from stuff George and I have talked about but now you get to hear it directly from those individuals. So I know in January that the UFO subject is gonna blow up again because new information will be coming to light. Hmm. It's uh, Great you know, this, this was an exciting year, the end of the year, the signing of the NDAA and, and what that means uh, moving forward. I mean, it's great. In a sense, it's sort of, uh, to coin the old cliche, it's sort of the uh, the end of the beginning, not the beginning of the end because we're we're finally, as a society, moving toward trying to figure out, are these real and are genuinely asking the question that, of course, Kurt, as you have learned, the answer is yes, they are real. And now maybe, you know, in the years to come, Arrow, NASA, uh, various scientific organizations that are now openly interested in the topic can can address the bigger questions, the, the really important ones. Where are they from? Why are they here? Who are they? What's their interest in us? You know, once we get beyond the obvious question that that our society has struggled with for 75 years, then we can start digging into the good stuff. And and the tools are now in place to do that. Uh, Jeremy and I are aware of some of these whistleblowers who've been standing by, ready to, to chime in and tell Congress and others uh, what they know. And in fact, we know that some of them have already done so. Um, and when this comes out, it's assuming it comes out, man, it's going to be an explosion. So, Kurt, what, what George is talking about is what the, the whistleblower protections laws are, are being implemented for. We're talking about reverse engineering UFOs. We're talking about our government physically reverse engineering physical hardware that they suspect is from another world. So we're talking about programs that are actively reverse engineering, actively exploiting these non-terrestrial technologies. That's the claim. And, and he's also talking about the idea that people have already utilized some of these internal mechanisms to establish where the hardware is. So, so this is something we have knowledge of, and we're hoping that this gets out to the public because it is happening. This education is being given on the inside. Expand on that point where the hardware is. Expand on that. What do you mean? Well, I'm not, not going to expand on that right this second, but this is something that's being told, you know, within Congress, within the Senate Intelligence Committee, within whistleblowers coming forward. 
you know, under uh, IG investigations, they're looking into this. This is something that, that George and I know for sure is happening, the people involved, all the mechanics of it. And we, we hope it becomes public through the, through the right channels. But I'm just, it's important for people to know it's happening. This is not something theoretical. Yeah. It's happening. I, I'll tell you, Kurt, uh, my first foray into this idea, the preposterous idea that we've got craft and materials from some other world, some other intelligence, was 33 years ago with Bob Lazar. And I know a lot of your listeners will have problems with the Lazar story. I don't care anymore. Uh, I don't care. But at the time that I proposed it that and, and presented that information in a new series, it was ridiculous even among a lot of UFO folks. Not so ridiculous anymore because... What Jeremy and I have reported over the last couple of years is there were legacy UFO programs that have not been made public. There were efforts to take these materials, exotic materials of unknown origin, put them in the hands of aerospace companies, the big players, and try to figure out how they work. And when Bob Lazar had that story a long time ago, uh, you know, people uh, tisk tisked and, and denied it and, and ridiculed it. Now, not so much because some of these whistleblowers we're talking about or appearing before Congress now have already given statements are there to tell them about the legacy programs, that they are real, that there are these exotic materials, that reverse engineering programs have been underway. The big question remaining is, will the public get to know about this? And can those materials be retrieved? If you hand them over to say a Lockheed or a Northrop or a company like that, uh, is there a paper trail that says the ownership should be with the American public, that it has to be returned? And we don't know. These whistleblowers that we're talking about know where the bodies are buried, literally, and where the material is. I mean, down to the building. Um, you know, it's going to be really interesting to see if uh, if Congress makes that information public, because we know that they've heard some of that testimony already. Isn't that fascinating? I am particularly interested in what uh, they were saying at the end that Congress has already been briefed on this stuff. Apparently, some whistleblowers have already come forward and briefed Congress on things like reverse engineering alien technology, and specifically involving uh, the large aerospace companies. One thinks of Lockheed Martin, uh, who helped build Area 51, and they are heavily associated with this. You know, the, you know, the head of, uh, or the former head of Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, notably joined TTSA and involved himself in the UFO disclosure movement. So, you know, that's kind of significant, I, I think. But, of course, Boeing and other companies are probably involved, too. In a recent video I made on some comments by Ross Coulthart, Ross uh, specifically talks about uh, aerospace companies uh, in Long Beach, California, or, or one particular aerospace company that is involved in UFO crash retrievals and uh, even global crash retrievals going all the way to Australia to re uh, retrieve a downed UFO. He wouldn't say what that company was, uh, only that it was located in Long Beach, California, which unfortunately is home to a bunch of different aerospace companies. So it's kind of hard to pin down which one he was talking about. But anyway, so Congress apparently has been briefed on this stuff and George Knapp is unsure if they are going to release this information to the public. So what could possibly be their excuse this time? If Congress has been briefed on UFO crash retrievals and the uh, programs related to reverse engineering this technology, what possible excuse could they use this time to uh, withhold that vital information from the public? Of course, they're going to say that it's, you know, national security or whatever. But that is such a BS reason that is past its expiration date with me. It has been for a long time. That is simply an excuse uh, why withhold this from the public? Well, probably because this goes much deeper than simply crash retrievals um, and reverse engineering alien technology. It is tied up with a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, the government working with the beings, and we have credible reports of that uh, time and again. We also have uh, evidence that we have fired on UFOs, and we have 
a highly credible evidence of that again and again. And it's not just the U.S. It's it's globally. Um, and we have evidence of UFOs firing on us. So, you know, uh, and, you know, that seems to indicate various factions of various beings, uh, some aligned with us that we're working with, and some we're actively working against. And it gets even weirder and trippier than that. Even that is the basic surface stuff, or maybe the mid-surface stuff. It gets really weird. It gets really interesting. It gets really juicy. There's metaphysical stuff involved, uh, heavily involved. And, uh, you know, the nature of reality itself. So it's going to be very hard to open that can of worms. So, you know, but it needs to be open because this is vital information that could transform humanity uh, and, uh, you know, uh, assist in our evolution. Not just physical, but spiritual and social. Uh, so, you know, this is big stuff. It needs to come out. Um, ASAP. Um, no more BS excuses of national security. So, um, but it is finally in the hands of Congress. And there do seem to be some Congress people actually devoted to getting this stuff out. Uh, Tim Burchett, who is a big advocate of this stuff, and he has actually called out other Congress people um, as being compromised on this issue, which is very alarming. Well, he himself has sat in on some of these meetings. Um, you know, we have that information from Gary Nolan. So, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that someone like him will, uh, you know, pony up with the information. Um, but, you know, time will tell. But at the very least, they can disclose some of this stuff. You know, they're not going to get into the crazy stuff, but at least they can get into the surface level stuff. UFOs are real, and we've been retrieving down UFOs and trying to reverse engineer that technology. But I would caution you, good folks, <laughs> to not be placated with that, because they will just use that to placate us. They will say, oh, you know, there's some there's some down UFOs. Okay, all right, you got us, man. Okay, there are UFOs. That is a thing. You know, who knows what they are? You know, could be anything, but you know, they, they do exist. And we've been trying to tinker with them and reverse engineer this stuff. You know, we've had maybe a little luck, but you know, basically that's the end of the story. It's not the end of the story. <laughs> it's the beginning of the story. So don't let them fool you if they do come out with the stuff in January. Don't let them fool you into thinking that's the end of the story. That is not. That is just the surface. That is just the beginning. You are not even in the rabbit hole at that point. You are just looking into the rabbit hole. It's, uh, yeah, so, um, but we will see uh, what we will see. They seem confident that something is coming out in January. George Knapp seemed a little unsure. He did, he did use the word if. Um, Jeremy Corbell was much more enthusiastic and positive and certain that this was coming out. So, um, you know, again, we'll see. Um, but I'm excited. I'm cautiously optimistic that at least we'll get something, uh, that will come out that will be juicy and, uh, carry the conversation forward. Those are my thoughts. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Please smash the subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss a single video. Please join me on social media. There's Facebook and Twitter links below. And please, if you enjoy these videos, please consider supporting the channel by becoming a channel member. See the first line in the description below. And there's two tiers of membership to receive exclusive access in videos. Until next time, this is Jack with Cosmic Road.